Good morning and welcome to WFMS. We're getting the news out to you. Hey, Franklin Middle School staff, students, who has it better than us? Nobody, that's right. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday. It is April 21st, lucky number 21. And we are going to be doing our second, you're going to be completing your second day of IAR testing hybrid students, remote students. We're reminding everyone to please make sure they're going to each of their teacher's Canvas pages. If you need any help, you make sure you go to and email your teacher. We also have that Zoom link open if you're needing any help. All right, take a look. As mentioned, today is Wednesday, April 21st. Hybrid students taking IR, remote students going to their Canvas pages. All right. Take a look at these important dates. We've got track practice all week from two to four, weather permitting. I know yesterday we had some snow, some accumulation even. And Thursday, we've got girls basketball at Washington Middle School at 3.30. I want to say good luck to the Lady Falcons. We've got yearbook and we've had yearbook pictures taken. And even if you've had your yearbook taken, we'd like for you to submit a picture and you take a headshot and you send that to Mariotti at sps186.org. Here are those rules, face and forward, no silly faces, no filters. Make sure your pictures of your upper body only. Uh, photo may need to be cropped. Hey, when you email the picture, make sure you include your first and last name in the email. Uh, no hands in the picture. You need to be the only person in the photo. And please make sure you're wearing appropriate school clothes, no hats, sunglasses, funny or silly stuff going on there. Looks like we've got some more student of the month. All right, take a look. We've got Beatrice and Mrs. Sheraden. All right, that's a great picture. We've got Mrs. Shaw and Mallory, students of the month. All right, we've got Ava and Miss Montgomery. Next up, oh, there we go. Nathaniel and Miss West, four thumbs up. There's two plus two, that's four. Four thumbs up, we like seeing that. Hey, there's Jaden and Mrs. Wobble. Next up, we've got Gabby and Mr. Zinn, and it looks like one thumbs up there. Let's go back, whoop, let's go forward. Oh, we got Mrs. Zinnon and Claire. Nice smiles there. Whoop, already did that one. Hey, here we go. We got two thumbs up. That's one apiece. That's Agina and Mr. Law. And next up, we've got Letitiana and Mrs. Alger. Love seeing that. Oh, who do we have here? We've got Aviana and Miss Craddock. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. And last but not least, a student of the month is among us. This is Ryan and Mrs. Ness, student of the month Friday. All right. Love seeing that. Next up, we've got Krish and Mrs. Maida. Excellent photos there. Next up, we've got Christian and Miss McDonald. Excellent smiles there. We've got Mason and Mrs. Chauvin. Wonderful there. And last but not least, we've got Miss Mariotti and Connor. That is a funny picture, Connor. And there we go. All right. Thank you, students, for uh, being excellent. Thank you, teachers, for recognizing that excellence. All right. And the girls' basketball news. The Lady Falcons lost a tough game Monday night to Blessed Sacrament, 34 to 25. The Falcons were sluggish in the first half, down by score 14 to 7 at halftime. They were down as many as 11 late in the third and into the fourth. They battled back within four ooh, with a couple minutes left, but couldn't complete the comeback. Hey, those Falcons were led by Ariana with 12, Kazai with nine, McKenna and Corinne with two. Falcons fell to record eight and two, and they'll play their final game of the season uh, Tuesday at Grant. Good luck, Lady Falcons. All right, on to our Scholastic Bowl question of the day. This one's geometry. It's a 30 second question. Your bathroom is eight feet long and 10 feet wide and needs new floor tile. If the tiles are square with sides six inches long, how many tiles will you need? Ooh. All right. Got about 20 seconds there. Bum, 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 bum. Got about 10 seconds there. All right, you can come and revisit that. Your bathroom is eight feet long and 10 feet wide. It needs new floor tile. If the tiles are square with sides six inches long, how many tiles will you need? All right, it's a good one, mental math. All right, did you know, did you know? Dogs are capable of understanding up to 250 words and gestures. The average dog is as intelligent as a two-year-old child. I didn't know, because of this slide, I do know, DYK. Yeah, a lot of smart dogs out there. Love it. And on this day in history, Abraham Lincoln's funeral train left D.C. all the way back April 21st, 1865. All right, bad jokes. We've got plenty of those. 
If you work as a security guard in a Samsung store, does that make you a guardian of the galaxy? No, it doesn't. All right. Well, we had some snow, rain, ice, gross April weather, but look here, we've got 49 and 57 and 58. We've got a nice end of the week, typical spring weather in April. And as my colleague, Mr. Helton and I shared, nothing we can do about it. We just got to deal with it. All right, birthdays, no birthdays today. We have no FMS birthdays. Scholastic Bowl, they answer, an eight by 10 bathroom that needs floor tile. And those tiles are six inches square. You would need 320 tiles. All right, like that one. And as we prepare for a productive day, let us observe a moment of silence. Now let us rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Take a look there. That's odd scenery. We got some tulips with some snow and ice on them. Yeah, there's some accumulation there. Not sure I like that here in the spring. Nothing we can do about it. Hey, students, want to remind all students, we've got a couple more days here of testing. Want to make you charge up, the, make sure you charge up those laptops. Make sure you come into school with a charged laptop. Uh, remote students, want to make sure you continue to go to those teachers' Canvas pages, get those assignments and make up work done. All right, Franklin Middle School staff and students on this wonderful Wednesday, we want to make sure everybody has a great day. And remember, it's all about choices. Read, write, and respond at Franklin Middle School. It's our focus.